In this rustic wedding cake tutorial, you will see this three-tiered cake construction from creating the sheer look, doweling, stacking, decorating with fresh flowers, and finally the bride and groom cutting their first slice. Hi, it's Lorelai. Welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time, welcome to Wedding Cakes for You Cake Tutorials. If you want to build your skills and confidence to create beautiful cakes and memories, subscribe and ring the bell. Starting with very cold or frozen cakes is key. These cake layers were baked the day before, cooled, wrapped, and then frozen. This seals in the freshness and makes the cake much easier to handle. A ring or dam of buttercream is piped around the outside edge of each layer and then filled. Unless, of course, you are using just buttercream. This is coconut cream cheese filling with English lemon curd and fresh raspberries. Seal the fresh fruit with more buttercream and cream cheese frosting. Oops. I did the opposite here. I started with lemon curd, but that's okay. It still works as long as all the flavors are there with each bite. Wrap your filled cakes and then refrigerate or freeze. This center tier needed a little trimming and had some large crumbs. Ideally you want that nice brown color, but for this tier it just wasn't happening. You can still achieve a rustic look though. First you want to cover your cake with buttercream and then scrape gently using a bench scraper.
Use a spatula to smooth the edges and the top, keeping in mind that most of the top will be covered by the tier above. Repeat that whole process for the other tiers. If you guys want to see the live demonstration of the very beginning of this cake, I will leave an end card for you to click through and watch. There's always good tips within a live stream. The bottom and the top tier had a really nice brown crust to work with. This is a great example of a, of a rustic, lightly frosted, natural look that so many brides are asking for. You can use a pan to mark the cakes for better placement, and plastic straws, although they are becoming outlawed in many states, are the easiest of dowels, and they work beautifully. You can use parchment paper cut to fit to help prevent the cardboard rounds from sticking too much to the tier below. You can also use coconut or graham cracker crumbs.
A sharpened wooden dowel works great to hold all three tiers together. Gently press and turn the dowel until it pokes through the cardboard. You may want to use the cardboard that already has holes pre-made or you can make your own pre-made holes. In this case, I used a hammer to make sure that the dowel went all the way through the base, which is made out of foam board. Tip number 366, leaf makes a really pretty border and it's super simple. A pearl round uh, tip would also be really nice with this cake. You basically just want to cover the cardboard edges. This is my tell this is my Italian meringue buttercream. I use it for everything. If you're having trouble with Italian meringue buttercream or Swiss or French or any kind of style of buttercream, check out my master buttercream course on Teachable. The link is below underneath the video. bride and groom chose hydrangea and a little greenery for their rustic wedding cake design. The florist provided these for me so they would match her bouquet. Praying to the cake gods as we always do before we start the car. We got this. Enjoy the rest of the cake decorating. Leave me a comment or question below if you have questions.